How's it going everyone? My name is Alex and welcome to another Fallout 76 guide. In this video, I will be showing you how to get blueprints and plans for your camp, as well as any other such as weapons, armors and uh, all of that stuff. So this video is for beginners. If you just started playing the game and you're wondering how you can expand your collection, so to speak, then keep watching. So basically blueprints and plans, a lot of players use these two terms interchangeably. But there's also something that's called blueprints while you're building your camp and i will get to that in a minute but basically how do we get plans for our camp and uh, weapons armor and things like that so when you complete certain quests and public events you will often be rewarded with plans but this is not really a fast way of getting them because you can't really complete a bunch of quests in like five minutes so that's something that you will be just getting as you keep progressing and playing the game and uh, don't expect uh, anything too special to happen about that. Now, you can also find them randomly in the world while you're exploring and looting. And this is when you might be equipping those lockpicking perks. So if you want to uh, lockpick something that's higher security, there's a higher chance that you might get something valuable. So don't overlook that. Now, another way to get uh, plans is to defend workshops. So when you take the workshop, you will have a little event that will prompt you to defend it against an evasion. And this is not bad at all. You will pretty much almost always get some plans and nice items, weapons, materials, plus all the stuff that you can loot from the enemies as well as the workshop itself. So taking a workshop is a phenomenal way of uh, expanding your, uh, let's say, riches in the game. So make sure you get used to taking them and defending them. And that way you will not be having any problems with uh, resources, junk and things like that. So... Probably the fastest way to get plans and blueprints is to just buy them from NPC vendors and player-run shops. Uh, often players will post in their shops anything that they already know. So you can just go take a look, uh, put your mouse on top of the shop and you will see whether the shop has something that interests you. Like for example, ammo, weapons, or in this case, plans. And if you see that there's a lot of plans, then just go fast travel and check it out. Now, when you're buying from NPC vendors, you really need to get the perk card that um, reduces the prices because you will be saving a lot of caps. So this is the most expensive way to get plans and blueprints, but definitely the fastest one. So I would say if there's something that you really want, then get it that way. So you don't have to wonder like how long will it take you to find it in another way. But don't go like, don't buy all everything that you can because you it is very uh, expensive and it will drain you, your bank quite a bit. So that's how you can get plans and blueprints. Now let's talk a little bit briefly about blueprints when you're building your camp. So one of the things that you need to understand is that creating a blueprint is basically grouping objects together and being able to craft that uh, more quickly. So let's say you're moving your camp. And maybe you went to like this locations here. Right now, my camp is at a river and I used to have it in some desert. Well, not a desert, but like something like that. And I can't really place everything the way it used to be. So I can just uh, make a blueprint out of something and then basically make it like a modular building process where you can just put a group of objects real quick. But the thing that you need to understand is that we're on, when you're on the blueprints tab, uh, you will be building a new copy of whatever you've blueprinted. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you move your camp, that you are on the stored tab. So when you're on the stored tab, you will be able to utilize that blueprint from all the things that you already stored. So you can see it's the same house, but in this picture, we have uh, the requirements. You can see aluminum, circuitry, things like that. But on the next tab, you don't have any of that stuff because you're on the stored tab and you just uh, place it down. So it's the same one that you had before. So if you're a beginner player, pay attention to this because if you keep just crafting new copies of everything, you will be burning through all the junk real quick. And uh, it's a costly mistake a lot of players have made. So pay attention to that. So that's it for this beginner Fallout 76 guide. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And good luck in the Westland.